All right, so, so many of you have been talking about how the GT40, it's just way too expensive. It's not worth getting the 4GT Horizon Edition, and I completely agree. It's really not worth it, especially if you don't have the money, if you don't want to spend the money, whatever the case might be. So there actually is a loophole. You can see right now I'm on a second account. I went and tested this out. So I'm going to show you from two different perspectives how to do this now. This event, by the way, it's in Forza Horizon 3, it ends on February 2nd, which is Friday, just in case anyone is unaware, but I'm in co-op campaign here with a few of my friends, and basically you're going to want to blueprint a championship. You have to be in co-op campaign to blueprint a championship. When you're doing the car type or the vehicle type, when you're selecting the car, you have to make sure you only choose the GT40 Mark II. That's the only car that you want people to be able to choose from, because if they don't have it, then they're going to be forced to borrow or rent the car from you. And this is just awesome because now you don't have to buy the car. The only catch is you have to be able to play online, obviously, but you're just going to want to blueprint the championship then if you're the leader and make three circuit races, one lap each, and basically just go, you're going to be in that GT40. And the thing about it is, though, it's a team race that you're doing here. So, you know, collisions... They can be off, it really doesn't matter, but you're doing a team race. You want teams to be on, because then that way not only one person is going to complete the Forzathon challenge at a time, all four of you will, as long as you come in first place as a team. So, this is fantastic, and again, I'm going to show you proof here very shortly. I'm going to show you from the renter's perspective, and not the leader's perspective, because I already had these challenges complete. I just wanted to reiterate how to blueprint the events if you're going to be the person that's the leader. So, again, you just go to custom car type. You're going to scroll all the way over to the 4GT Horizon Edition. This time around, we're in online free roam. You have to be in online free roam to do the playground games. So, you have to complete three playground games, definitely do infected, and make the duration one minute long. And it's as simple as that. That's how you're going to blueprint it if you're the leader of the session. Now, like I said, though, I went ahead and made a second account. As you can see here, I have four cars, no GT Horizon Edition, no Mark II GT40, and I have no credits, nothing. So I have nothing to work with, but I went online here. We're in co-op campaign, and once again, thank you to just everyone who helped me, who I helped, everyone that's in this video, because this was a nice team effort here. But I joined my friend's session. He just blueprinted the championship exactly how I just showed you in the beginning of the video. And as you can see now, from the renter's perspective, this is what you're going to see. You're only going to have one option of a car that you can borrow from the leader. And that, in this case, for the championship to win the championship, is going to be that GT40 Mark II. So, instead of spending 3.3 million credits, you can just go play in line with your friends in co-op campaign and complete the challenge. So, again, it just doesn't matter who comes in first, second, third, whatever. As long as you win by the end of the championship as a team, you will win the 4 GT Horizon Edition, as you can see right there. So, I also did want to quick cover the fourth challenge, just in case, and you're going to need that GT Horizon Edition. Obviously, now I have it because I completed the first challenge, but let's just say you don't. Again, same thing, this time in Online Free Room. Just join your friend's session, they'll have it blueprinted exactly like I showed in the beginning of this video. One minute duration, and obviously I have that GT HE because I completed the first challenge, but they made it so I can only borrow or rent the 4 GT Horizon Edition, so just go into Playground Games, do the infected matches three times, bump into each other 15 seconds later once the ghost period goes away, and you can see there I completed that challenge, and now the Forza Thunder is complete on my second account as well, so... I just wanted to prove it to everyone in case anyone was not sure or was completely unaware and this has been an inconsistent method in the past like I said so I did want to test it out before I talked about it or made a video about it but I had to make a second account because I already completed the challenges on my main account so there's 999 spots now on my new friends list on my second account so you saw it there Stevio tests feel free to add me if I haven't added you back on my main account that's because my friends list is full, so I really hope that everyone found this video to be helpful or useful, and that hopefully this will allow you to now complete all of the Forzathon challenges you have until February 2nd, once again, 2018, so hopefully everyone will now get those challenges done, but thanks for watching. Peace!